Hey everybody, I'm back. Once again, another week. But here we go. Something start a little different. Now that I'm on YouTube, I get anonymous comments. So I got a comment last week that said, you're really stupid. Thought it was pretty funny. What really is interesting is my wife doesn't watch. She said that I'm just local talent. And I'm not that talented. But I had an anonymous comment that said that I was stupid. So maybe she watched. I'm thinking it may be her. It certainly wasn't the squirrels. Although they can figure out how to get on YouTube and make comments telling people they're inappropriate. I did have a friend um, who watches it on YouTube. Gave me a call. I haven't talked to him in a while. And I love him to death. And I said, hey, dude, man. It's so nice to hear from you. How are you doing? He goes, apparently not as good as you. Sitting on my ass drinking all day. Which I thought was pretty funny. Um, life is starting to get a little bit normal. I'm starting to go out, watch some baseball the last couple days. Um, I was out driving, and I know it's starting to get normal. When I was driving a little slower than somebody liked, they got in front of me, gave me the finger, and took off. As he was driving past me, though, I see the mask hanging from his rearview mirror, and I've noticed that the mask has now replaced the fuzzy dice on the mirror. The mask has replaced the pine-scented freshener. The mask has replaced the Italian horn and rosary breed. So, for the rest of our lives, we'll be seeing these masks as good luck charms. You know, I said I was out going, getting my Tito's, because now I'm drinking Tito's with fruit. Good stuff. And I'm getting two handles at a time. So, really, the bottom line is the alcohol distributors and alcohol manufacturers are making a mint of this pandemic. Really, it's going crazy. Because everybody now thinks sobriety may be a little overrated that we're trapped. Very funny stuff. So, uh, our government, they're all, they're all insane. Completely insane. I, I, I can't even listen. We're in a world where one side believes one thing, the other side believes another thing. Nobody questions anybody. They follow like the undead. It, it, it's unbelievable. You say black, I say white. You say up, I say down. It, just because. We had our governor Cuomo the other day. It came out, and I love this one. He said... You still do not have the right to party. What? First of all, I didn't know that was a right. It may be like uh, in the Bill of Rights, 5A. Um, come here. I got the right to party all the time. And you guys want to come over? Come over here, party here. We'll do some social distance drinking. So the governor is telling us we don't have the right to party. Same government, geniuses, the CDC, trying to open schools. And can you stop using teachers and students, children, as tools for your political agenda? We've had enough. We're people. We all want to work. The kids want to get back to school enough. So the CDC lists a list, a, a list, and I'm going to read it. If you go back to school and you have any of these symptoms, you have to be sent home. Fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath, body aches, headache, loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, irritability, or shortness of breath. Really? Nobody's drinking anymore. Those are the symptoms of a hangover. Not COVID. This is just a good night out. We had an extra couple of drinks. So I'm not really sure. COVID, alcohol, all makes sense now. All makes sense. Now I'm thinking Hollywood continues to go crazy. You have Kanye, who's definitely crazy, but I think it would be very entertaining to see him in a White House. Uh, that'd be some funny stuff. Like, like we didn't know he was bipolar. Kim had to come tell us that. And then you have Ellen DeGeneres who's apparently her show is horrible, sexist, racist, mean, who knows? Now think about this, let this sink in for a second. Who would have thought that Mel Gibson, all those years ago with his crazy rants, may have been the sanest, most honest person in Hollywood? Mel Gibson, he's nuts, we all know that. So I was reading about uh, Tinder. There was an article the other day that 60% of the males on Tinder are married, 30% are female. But they're not calling it a dating site anymore. They're calling it a mating site. Perhaps they should be calling it a conscious coupling site. Corona terms, baby. When is all this mating happening if you're six feet apart? I, I don't understand the logistics. Now, get back to the government for a second. If they want to pass a law that you can't ride your bicycle and drink, how's anybody supposed to get anywhere? Give me a break. Come on, just give me a break. Let's stop being stupid. Let's say safe and put on the mask. Same people telling us we cannot 
wear a mask because the government can't tell us to do. But you seem to wear a seatbelt. Hey, stay safe, everybody. I'll see you next week. Enjoy. Give your loved ones a kiss. Love you all. Cheers.